guys, so I wanted to do a video um, about how to take care of your nails, like nail care products and things like that. Not really a how-to, but these are just some tips that I have for you guys. And maybe you want to try some of these products out that I'm suggesting. I really like all these products. This was um, requested by... The beginning of it is Dinah, but I will put the her name down below in the down bar because I can't think of it because there's numbers after that. Um, but she's so, she's so sweet, and I thought this would be a good video for everybody anyway, and I'm really surprised that I haven't done one. But let's go ahead and get to the products that I used. Oh, and also, um, want to mention, I'm sorry about my appearance. I am just being a lazy day, so that's why I look like this. But I just threw my hair up and did my makeup and all that. And on my eyes, I'm wearing Crush Cosmetics. I'll link Crush Cosmetics review down below. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the video. The first thing I want to talk about are treatments. So if you want to grow out your nails, you might want to use a treatment like uh, something to grow out your nails, um, something like that. So I recommend Sally Hansen Maximum Growth. Um, this is a daily nail growth program. This one is an older bottle, but I think they still look the same. Um, it's rubbing off, as you can tell. But I love this product so much. Sally Hansen's products are amazing. I want to apologize for the appearance of my nails, too, because... I'm going to be putting on fake nails, but I have to show them in this video, actually. Um, but yeah, m this is an amazing product. It will help grow out your nails, and I really recommend it. If you need help um, getting your nails stronger, making them stronger, um, I would suggest getting a hardener. This one is actually by Beauty Secrets, um, and it looks like this. But uh, Sally Hansen sells hardeners that are really well, or that are really good. Um, the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. Um, Hard as Wraps one is really good, and then also the green bottle, and I believe that one's just called Hard as Nails, but I really like both of those products. But this one's also a good product as well, but I would definitely get a hardener if you need to um, get your nails stronger. Now, just on a regular basis, if you're not painting your nails for the day, um, or if you are going to paint your nails, I definitely recommend using a base coat, and this is a Beauty Secrets base coat. This is a nice base coat. There's nothing wrong with this one. Um, I actually really like this one, to be honest, so, um, I definitely recommend this one. Um, I don't remember, I think this is like $2.99 or something. CND Sticky Base Coat is really good as well, but it's more expensive, but I do like this one. You can also use, um, the Miracle Growth thing, Maximum Growth things like that as well, or Hardeners as base coats as well, um, but if you don't need any of those products, um, just a base coat will work for you, um, there's lots of good base coats out there, um, but I like this Beauty Secrets one. It's really good for the price, um, so I definitely recommend it. Recommend it. Um, and have you guys noticed, but I keep saying um a lot in these videos, and I want to apologize because I, I'm going to assume that it's kind of annoying. But yeah, but even if you're not painting your nails, definitely paint your nails with a base coat. It's just going to protect them from whatever throughout the day. But if you are going to paint your nails, use a base coat as well so your nails won't get stained by the paint that you're using. Also, another way to protect your nails if you have painted them from chipping is using a top coat. This is not the best top coat, this Beauty Secrets one, um, if you have brittle nails because... This is always chipping off for me, but I really like OPI's um, Insta Dry or Sally Hansen Mega Shine or Sally Hansen. Um, really, any of the Sally Hansen top coats are really nice. Um, so any of the Sally Hansen top coats are good. Um, OPI Insta Dry, like I said, is really good. Um, and actually, the Revlon ones are pretty good as well. I was just using this one as an example, but it's all right. Um, just not if you have brittle nails, because that's what I have, and it doesn't really work out. Another product that you can use as a base coat is this OPI Ridge Filler. Anything that's a ridge filler that's going to help fill in any ridges in your nails, basically, or any bumps. I have a lot of ridges in my nails, so I love this product. Um, I have two bottles of this. I love it so much. Um, I'm obsessed with it. It's great, and it works as a base coat as well if you only want to buy one product. This is it. If you have ridges and all that. Something that might be ideal for you as well if you only want to buy pro one product is the top to bottom orally base coat and top coat. It's all in one. All you do is paint this on your nails before you paint and then use it as your top coat after you paint and you've got one product, you're good to go. Um, this is a good product for a base coat. I don't like it for a top coat because it's not super shiny, but um, yeah. Uh, it's pretty good for the base coat, like I said, but using it as a top coat, no. But if you're traveling, try it because you are only going to bring one product. So I recommend this one for base coat. 
for wear with your cuticles, I definitely recommend using a um, cuticle oil. This one is just by Beauty Secrets. I like this one. Um, Essie makes one, the apricot cuticle oil. But this one is just by Beauty Secrets. I think it's like three bucks. Like I said, um, there's a bunch of cuticle oils out there, so it doesn't really matter. Just get a cuticle oil that you like the scent of because sometimes they are a little bit disgusting smelling. But that's just going to help um, nourish your cuticles and hydrate them. And if they're dried out looking, it'll bring them back to life. Um, it's something really good to use just throughout the day, every day, or once a week if you want to. I love putting it on like every single day because it just moisturizes your cuticles but if you don't like the oily feeling once a day is completely fine too another good thing um, to keep in mind is remover the best remover out there is 100% um, acetone it will take off your polish in one wipe two at the most it's amazing it does have a strong scent but if you want your glitter to come off for sure that is the way to go um, but if you're cleaning Excuse me, if you're cleaning up around the cuticles, anything is going to work. Um, the strengthening nail polish remover, acetone is just as good as well. Acetone does dry out, so make sure after you use acetone to coat your nails with cuticle oil. Um, but any nail polish remover really will work for cleaning up around the cuticle area. But if you want to remove all of it, you're going to want to use acetone. It's just a lot quicker process. Some tools that might be handy, obviously, you know, nail clippers and things like that. So get a manicure set. But um, some other things that you might not think you need is a cuticle pusher, backer thing. That's what I always call them. Um, but this is actually just an orange stick you can use to move, push back your cuticles with, um, you know, push them back your cuticles. You can get the rubberized ones. You can get the metal ones. Be careful with the metal ones, though. You can damage your cuticles if you go at it too hard. Um, so I just use whatever. I even will use my fingers, to, my, my nails, to push them back, too. And then to clean up around cuticles, I use this little e.l.f. concealer brush. It's a dollar at Target. Um, you can just dip it in the polish remover and go around your nails, and it cleans up perfectly, and it doesn't mess up um, anything. Is that like mess up your design? Like a cotton ball isn't, or a cotton ball. A Q-tip is not as precise. This is a little bit more precise. You can do it whatever you, way you want, though. Um, there are Q-tips with pre precision tips. Those work just as well. Um, this one just doesn't get ruined by the nail polish remover. These bristles don't for the price, so that's pretty good. Um, and I have a little tip for you guys. Also, don't forget your nail file. You always need a nail file. Sally Hans Hansen has some really cute ones for a buck at Target, so. Go check it out. But the tip that I wanted to tell you guys was if you want to grow out your nails um, in a week, this is the way to go. The Kiss Everlasting French nails are, put them on, let your nails go. Like what you're going to do, let me get the product. What you're going to do is paint a layer of the Sally Hits of a maximum growth treatment, doesn't matter what, um, but paint your nails with this. And then apply your nails. I have the I have the video for this, so I'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested in how to apply them, um, or the best ways to apply them. And just you can leave them on for about a week. Is how long they'll stay on, and how long I recommend you keeping them on. Um, and then let your nails breathe, and then you can put them back on again, obviously. Um, but your nails will definitely grow out, as you can see. Mine have grown out a little bit. Um, I don't know if you've seen my progress from last time, but they, they grow out within a week's time using that. So it's really, I really recommend it if you want to grow out your nails. And if you have bad nails like I do, or you feel like you have bad nails, um, and you want to cover them up in the process of growing them out, that's a, that's the best way, I feel. And it works amazingly. Um, so, yeah. One last thing I want to talk about was um, lotion. You can do body butter or you can do lotion. Either way works. Body butter is a little bit more nourishing, um, but certain lotions are just as nourishing as well um, and hydrating. I'm just using this one as an example, um, but you want to also make sure that your nails are, your nails, your hands are mo or moisturized as well so they're not dry, so that your nail, so that your hands just look good overall. Um, so just do lotion as many times a day as you want to, or at least once a day what I'm going to recommend, but I always am putting it on like crazy because I love lotion. I love having my hands look amazing. But, um, yeah. Also, for cuticle oil products, there are cuticle oils, there are cuticle creams, there's Fluttery Lemon by Lush. Uh, Sally Hansen has one as well. It comes in a, like, little green tin. Um, it's like in a, it's like in a boxed package. 
hanging, um, but it's a green tin, and I'll show you on the front. It's like spiraled with green and yellow, green and white, and that I hear is a really good one, um, but I never used it. Also, a cuticle remover that you want to use once a week. Let me go ahead and grab a cuticle remover. You want to use this probably once a week just to remove any of the dead skin, uh, dead cuticles off of your nail and all that. Um, this one is really good. This is Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. Maximum strength. This does not hurt at all. It takes about 15 seconds. What I do is I just... I'll coat around my cuticle, let me get in here, I'll coat around my cuticle like this, on this one whole hand, leave it set, I'll go over and do this side while this is setting, as soon as I'm done with this side, I take it off, take my um, cuticle pusher and remove that, wipe it off, clean my hand, um, and then do the same over here and you're good to go, I mean it takes no time, it doesn't hurt at all, there's no pain or anything like that, some people are like, oh my gosh, does it hurt, you know? Mm -mm. That one doesn't. I've never had any of them hurt me anyway. But that one I really recommend. I uh, sell it from Mary Loved Heart. Used it. Or a Loved Heart Mary. Her name's Mary. Um, she used it. She's not doing videos right now. But that was in her manicure, complete salon manicure. If you want me to do one of those types of videos using all the products that I showed here, I definitely will. Request it down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thanks so much, Dina, for requesting. Sorry, I'm just going to call you Dina if that's okay with you because I don't know your name if that is your name that's awesome that's a really cool name but thank you so much for requesting and it was so nice talking to you you're so so sweet um and i'll talk to you guys later bye